Sorry, did I put you off? I got you a coffee though. All right, I'm on my way. There you go, mate. Flat white, one sugar. Thank you very much. What you were sweet enough. What do? Um, when did you start goal kicking, mate? When did I start goal kicking? Um, Have you always been a goal kicker? Yeah, back in the younger days. Obviously, you just love looking good. You know, kicking them from the yeah. sideline. and everyone, all about the glory, yeah. Everyone loves that, yeah, it is. So um, you decided to start goal kicking. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you've been pretty good with, so far with us, eh? Thank you, thank you. You might miss many. In, this year? This, in a few games. No, uh, I think I'm up. What are you like? Two. I think I missed two this year. Eight from ten. So hopefully, yeah. Eighty percent, it's not bad. Hey, look, obviously, Nev, you're a bit uh, new to these parts, so... Yep. What I was thinking was we could go in the new MG. Yeah, sounds good. Get in the MG and uh, take it for a spin around Redfern. Let's do it. And then we'll go get some lunch. Are you from here too? Well, I'm a local now. Oh, you are? Okay, so you I've been here, you know, nearly over 10 years, so yeah. we'll go for a spin. Let's do it. MG, what a car. Oh, good. Mate, pretty Have good interiors to be fair. Sorry? Pretty good interiors. I reckon the, is that, is that Liverpool fun? We're changing the segment. Car karaoke with Tom. Yeah. Can you sing? I don't mind a bit of karaoke. Nikarima, it'll skip again and almost through Hill. Gets a hold, he's running up, not telling you. And Johnson almost never ran in the back again to Nikarima. And the try is going to be given. Obviously, you grew up in New Zealand. How did you get come across to Australia? So, my dad's brother moved over beforehand. So, we're in. Um, yeah, like I said, in, in NZ, and uh, my, my old man was in the army, so we used to move with him for work. And then, yeah, his, his brother moved over to, to Brisbane, and um, seeing that there was good opportunities over over in Australia for, for us boys, for league, so uh, my mum moved over first for like a month just to get settled. So how old were you then? When we moved, I would have been 10, 10 years old, yeah. Oh, so you're pretty much Aussie then now? No, I'm not Aussie. I know where I'm from. Oh, so you basically moved here, young young kid. Did you go for the Broncos? Uh, no, I still, so I was still going for the Warriors. Yeah. Um, I've always supported a uh, New Zealand team, whether that's you know rugby league or any sport. Um, yeah. To be fair, uh, I like backing you know my country. Um, but then obviously when I signed, so I signed with the Broncos at a young age, I was 12 years old when I signed my first my first contract. They do that early though, right? Yeah, I'll, they've changed it now. I think you have to be maybe 15 or even older to, to sign a contract. But we used to get tickets uh, to go to every home game, all these little cards. Um, so after like using those and um, you know being a part of their system, yeah. I sort of I sort of switched to who I was going for and. Yeah. yeah, started to become a, a Broncos fan and yeah, I got my opportunity there. Who, was the, who did you sort of look up to then back back in the days? Was there any Kiwis playing for the Broncos? Well, it depends on what you call Kiwi, like Carmichael Hunt. I think he's a Kiwi, but he pledged Australia. Um, but no, for me, I've always, and I've said it publicly before, my you know my idol has always been Benji Marshall. Just love this. I used to love what he used to do on the field. Shout out Benji. Yeah, shout out to the road bags. And then it was cool, I got to, you know, train and play alongside him when he when he came to Broncos in 2017. Is that who gave you a nickname? No, <laughs> he didn't actually. Uh, it, was that, it was Stephen Kearney. Oh, was um, it? So back in 2015, I went into the Kiwis. I think they might have had a, a one-off test against Australia. Yeah. Um, and what they did 
back then was I used to bring, um, I guess, a young player coming through just to give him some experience. Yeah. And, you know, get get around the boys and I guess enjoy camp. Uh, so he brought me in for that week and obviously being the youngest there, uh, he used to start calling me, calling me Neff, um, short for nephew. And then who's uncle then? <laughs> uncle Bully, 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 Uncle Bully. Bully. Yeah, um, well, that's called Uncle <laughs> Bully when he was here. But Blairy, Adam, Adam Blair got a hold of it. Yeah. Once he gets a hold of something, bro, it just sticks. So instead of I guess whinging about, I just embraced it. Yeah. You know, there's worse nicknames out there. It's alright, yeah. I was not bad. I don't mind it. Have you got a nickname? Tomasi. Um, Tomasi, yeah, yeah, that's what Bully used to call me, Tomasi. They a Tongan, Tongan name. But, um, yeah, not really. Just twin, twenty. You still got called, but then it, I've got a funny story in England. My my mates called me no one. Why are so, they call you that? Just because like they were like, "Who's this guy?" When I got introduced to a new set of mates, and they're like, "Oh, no one." And then I spelled it wrong. I spelled it with a, a, a K. Yeah. So they called me K one. K one. And then they called George K two. <laughs> so K one and K two. <laughs> Uh, so you stitched stuck, your brother That stuck for a while, but that's more in England. Yeah. So George is uh, K2, I'm K... K1. K1, but... Um, Who came out first? Me, so yeah. it makes sense. 15 yeah. minutes. 15 minutes between us. Yeah, here we go. GI mural. Italy. He was a freak, bro. Yeah. How was it like playing with him? Yeah, he was, he was man. He was just a, a freak player. I actually remember my first game against him, eh? Might have been 2016. We kicked it dead. He was fullback at the time. And he was running back. Took a quick tap and I was literally, I feel like, myself and just space. Yeah. And um, I literally made a tackle on him and it was one of the best moments <laughs> in my just, career. Just tackling, tackling GI. Wow, well, wrestling, I mean, wrestle was like, there's no point. It's similar to the trail a bit, yeah, just, yeah. just like, you just can't. When they want to just get, get past you, they will. You started your, your career with Brisbane. Yep. Um, that's when you first met JD, is it? Was JD uh, there? No, he wasn't there then. He came in 2017, when, um, when Benji came. Oh, yeah. Well, I got along with JD really well, um, actually. Yeah. He helped out me and, me and Milf quite a bit just with our um, attack. So we used to catch up with JD, you know, every week. Um, I guess just game plans um, and how we want to approach yeah. games and, and whatnot. So yeah, no, he's real good. You played how many years at the Bronx? Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 half of 19. Yeah, and then what, five. what happened there then? Uh, then got opportunity at the, the Warriors, signed a three and a half year deal there. That would have been cool, eh? Yeah, it was cool. Um, obviously, was that something you sort of? Look, to be to be honest, I've got a I've got a um, Australian partner, and um, it didn't really ever cross my mind that I'd sign at the Warriors. Yeah. As a kid, I've always wanted to play, always wanted to play for the Warriors. Um, being so, that was the team that I used to support. Um, but then, yeah, obviously, um, opportunity came about. Obviously, knew their coach, um, Steve Kearney, at the time, and he was pretty keen to get me over there. So, um, yeah, I just had to take the opportunity. Well, mate, that was the uh, tour of Redfern. Should go get some lunch. Thank you for that. Yeah, let's go. Cheers, mate. Welcome.